1984 by George Orwell. Eric Blair is dead. As a child, he was lonely and made up stories, but he knew he wanted to be a writer. He felt different. One day he was seen standing on his head, and when asked why, he replied, you see much better standing on your head than the right way up. He loved Indian tea, strong tobacco, English cookery, English beer, coal fires, candlelight, and comfortable chairs. In his early 20s, he had a chest infection which affected him for the rest of his life. Eric Blair, known as George Orwell, believed in simple, straightforward language and found that he was best able to use it when he had a good reason for doing so. He was a policeman in Burma, part of the British Empire, and wrote about it. He spent time as a down and out in Paris and London, wrote about what it was like to work in a restaurant and be a tramp. He was an expert on living on the bare necessities. He often experienced the conditions he was writing about. When he wrote about coal miners, he went down a mine. After fighting in the Spanish Civil War, where he was shot through the neck, he wrote Homage to Catalonia. He lived through the Second World War and broadcast on the radio. When he wrote about what was happening in the world around him, he didn't pull his punches. He spoke out and fought against totalitarianism and wherever repression showed its face, including England. He tried to make people understand that totalitarianism was about power, pure power, only power. After the war, he wrote Animal Farm, in which the animals create their own revolution against the humans, but end up by being controlled by the pigs. In this, he tried to fuse political purpose and artistic purpose into one whole. Then he wrote 1984, in which Winston Smith suffers the complete loss of his autonomy and finally his personality, his ability to love. He was ill, but he continued writing. He believed that people like you understand the situation better than professional politicians. When he was dying of tuberculosis in 1950, one of his last messages to the world was, If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. Don't let it happen. It depends on you.